Hello, I'm John Averger, the Artistic Director of the Toronto Bach Festival. And this is Discover Bach. Today, we're looking at the tenor aria from Bach's Easter Oratorio. And we're going to show you how Bach creates a calm atmosphere, a serene atmosphere, almost a sleepy atmosphere, to express a specific aspect of the text. And he does this with remarkable efficiency. I'm joined today by Alison Melville playing recorder, Julia Wedman playing violin, Kieran Campbell playing cello, Chris Bagan playing organ, and our tenor is Nick Feltmeyer. Let's hear the opening of this aria. <laughs> how Bach creates this atmosphere. Let's start with the bass. What's going on in the bass? So Bach gives me this same note for four and a half measures in the, intro, in the introduction. And he groups each note, each four notes with a slur, which creates this sort of pulsation. I'll show you. <laughs> So this really creates this calm, I, if, if I actually breathe with it, it personally calms me down if I sort of time my breaths in and out with these, these groups of four. Um, and Bach doesn't use this very often in bass lines, this sort of uh, bow vibrato, you could call it. Um, uh -huh. uh, and it, he really uses this when he wants to create this really calm, gentle atmosphere. And what's going on in the violin while that's happening? Well, I have a very beautiful, gentle, rocking motion, and Bach creates this kind of atmosphere by grouping my part in two note units, and my notes go up and down. It sounds like this. And the recorder part kind of ups the ante on the violin part where I have again this kind of undulating gesture and I have smaller groupings though so I'm going sounds like twice as fast but it's still basically in the same speed same kind of pulse but just faster motion layers I join Kieran on the bass line I play that in my left hand and to that I add some harmonies in my right hand and of course Bach could have chosen any number of harmonies to happen over top of a static unmoving bass but instead he decides to actually keep me on the same harmony the entire time as well So by making the harmonic motion very slow, he creates this calm atmosphere. Let's hear the opening bars again. So it's an amazing atmosphere. And then the voice enters. Yeah, when I come in, I, my opening melody 
mimics the violin part from the beginning, that gentle rocking motion. So he's already set us up to hear your part by alluding to it in the violin part. But your part has words, and what are those words? Gentle is my contemplation of death, for it's only a slumber. And Bach juxtaposes the declamatory word death with the really long sustained note on the word slumber. So the word schlummer, which is slumber, is on a very long note. And here's an interesting detail. Julie, what was your part doing when Nick started singing? I was taking a nap. So just as a stream can appear calm on the surface, it still has motion underneath. Let's hear it again, and let's listen for how the bass is very static, the harmony is very static. We have the gently uh, lullaby pattern in the violin and the gently undulating recorder part. And Bach uses all this to create this atmosphere of calm to describe the gentle as my contemplation of death. That's just a small example of Bach's genius. If you'd like to hear the complete aria in the context of the complete oratorio, join us on Sunday, May 15th at the 2022 Toronto Bach Festival.